Hello. I think I'm recording. Am I recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Maybe I'm recording. Okay. This is Thimble Land, and I've been uh, working on some things here uh, while my iron farm fills up the silo and I've been trying to get uh, enough iron so that I won't have to worry about uh, iron farming ever again. Uh, I plan to upgrade this world as you know from the last installment. If you're following me, if you're not, well, I don't care about you, do I? <laughs> you don't care about me either, so the feeling is mutual. Anyway, um, I wanted to give you a look at uh, what I was doing over in this area and what I've got going on is basically um, kind of a beautification process of this this big thing out here in the extreme hills. All this is extreme hills and when I spawned in this was pretty much a natural formation. It looked pretty ugly like that over there and I'm just kind of giving it a little more character with these stalagmites or stalactites or I don't know which ones are which. Anyway, um, basically uh, doing some pruning here and uh, basically doing the scaffold stuff and dropping all this stuff down. I've been pillaring out and doing all this work. Um, but basically making these little formations here. Um, how do I get up there? Oh yeah, the water stream. Where's the water stream? I don't know if I can get into that. Yeah, I can. Um, but basically, uh, woo, that's a little iffy. Um, this used to be the only way up, by the way. And uh, I have since made a bridge and this little scaffold I built out a little bit and now I built this bridge to it so that I could uh, get a way over here more conveniently to the main island here the... but now it's a grand entrance to the uh, floaty island um, kind of a neat little place to visit you know come here think <laughs> look at the rocks <laughs> uh, I've done some tunneling around and you know little places to go and visit but essentially I'm making it a little more accessible um, the first time I came up here to light this thing uh, there was I had to come up this way and I got up here and I didn't have a bed on me so I had to run back down um, you know mobs just trailing me and then when I got out here there were so many mobs down here as you can see there's still dark areas out there I had to swim across and get myself to safety but uh, that was a long time ago and now that we have a perimeter um, this can be a better destination and that's what I'm trying to provide is kind of a oops destination anyway um, Thimbleland is coming along uh, there's a lot of new things that I've built here. Um, this is new, uh, this little area. More and more the natural terrain is quickly disappearing. Um, I have cleared a lot of that mountain back in there and I've cleared all of it down in there to behind this. Let's go see that. 
that right there is kind of a new development um, I want to have a pumpkin and melon farm um, and kind of built this walkway to go around it and the pumpkin melon farm will go right here so will a cactus farm I'm not sure how I want to do it I think what I want to do is the cactus farm is gonna go probably right here where this dirt is and the pumpkin melon farm will be right here where those that line of torches is it's not going to be such a big one uh, those farms are incredibly productive so it doesn't need to be large uh, it just needs to be there <laughs> um, let's go down and BT dub uh, this right here is the old nether wart farm that I built and it is way outdated for what's in store for nether wart and the, the it never fails that damn cat always howls during a video um, the uh, the nether wart I'm gonna need massive amounts of that so I'm going to make a nether wart farm somewhere that is just humongous um, but back here these right here these uh, lights on the back side they're gonna provide a little cubby hole full of light and then there's gonna be this which will be exposed on the back side so they will have some aesthetic value on the back side but pretty much these columns are gonna go straight up and meet with that and there may be something decorative to this wall on the back side but all of this is gonna go all of this is gonna be cleared back in here there's gonna be a new roof line over that um, not sure what's gonna happen with that space back there but this space up here is going to be a cac uh, cactus and a pumpkin melon farm right in here. So that's what's going to happen there. Um, but that's about all that's new since the last video. Uh, all of this is huge. Um, going to be great whenever I get Elytra in here because uh, you'll be able to fly around in these areas all between that island and the farm up here the destination up there fly straight down into here do some tree farming fly out over this thing and land down there and probably be able to um mm, woohoo yeah I made it probably be able to fly down here and go right down into there that may be a big enough stairwell to fly straight down and land on that little thing if not I'll figure out a way to do it maybe I'll move the staircase back a little bit give a little more headroom but this right here goes directly to the iron farm here and right now I'm just taking what's in here and blocking it up and stacking it up in here and that's how much I've got so far not a whole lot I would like to fill all this up I don't think it's gonna happen I figure if I get nine or ten chests filled that's adequate adequate blocks but we'll see what happens anyway I'm Rip Tyrond, and this is Thimbleland I will see you next time Bye.